Hi there guys, I'm Nikhil from Greedy Tech and this is the camera review of the Vivo V7 and the Vivo V7 Plus. Both the phones have the same specs, so the camera review applies to both the phones. With that said, let's quickly have a look at the specs. This phone comes with a 16 megapixel camera on the rear with f2.0 aperture with a single LED flash and a 24 megapixel camera on the front with f2.0 aperture and a dedicated flash on the front. Now let's check out the camera interface. So guys, this is the camera interface of the phone. By default, we have the take photo or the picture mode. If you swipe left, you'll go to the video mode where we can record video. Over here, we can change the video resolution all the way from 480p to 1080p. Next, if we go to settings over in the photo section, we have additional option to change the aspect ratio from normal, full to square. If you select full, you'll get an 18 to 9 aspect ratio where you'll get a complete preview of the screen. Usually, I prefer to go with normal. Next, we have the option to take pictures using three modes. Next, we have the option to take pictures in three ways. One, we can touch to take picture. Just touch the screen to take a picture. Next, we can use voice. Say cheese. Cheese. So there you go. That's how it works. Finally, we can show a palm. At the top, we have the toggle for HDR. So we have auto HDR on and off. I always prefer to go with auto HDR. Next, we have a toggle for portrait mode. So once you click that, you can take portrait shots where it adds a blur effect to the background of a subject. Next we have this toggle for moving picture mode or live photo. That's what it's called on an iPhone. So let me just take a picture. Now if we go to gallery, this is a live photo. You get a quick watermark over there. Just press and hold and you can see the video. So that's how it works. Here's the shortcut for the gallery app. Next, we have a shortcut for filters. If you click over here, you have some additional modes. If you click this button, it will switch the cameras. So here I am. Over here, once again, we have the portrait mode. So that's how it works. So over here, we have the portrait mode again, a moving picture mode or the live photo mode. Face beauty over here, group selfie where it takes a panorama shot for the selfies and finally video mode. It even has a dedicated flash on the top. We can just turn it on. So that's the front facing flash. Now these are some sample pictures. This phone supports auto HDR for the front and rear cameras and all the images including selfies were taken with auto HDR on. In daylight and valid conditions, it overexposes the image to make it look bright. Focusing speeds are good, capturing speeds are good, color balance isn't accurate, but it makes the images look clean. Color reproduction is also good. It's close to accurate, but because of the overexposure, colors look bright and saturated. These are the pictures taken with HDR on. Once again, it does a pretty good job. Like most phones, capturing speeds are slightly slow, but the end results are worth the delay. Color reproduction and exposure control are good. These are the macro shots. Focusing speeds are good, you get good bokeh effect and colors look slightly saturated. On the whole, it does a pretty good job for the rear camera shots. This phone has a single camera on the back and still offers portrait mode. And these are the sample shots. I took these images in low light so they look dull. But it does a pretty good job with the blur effect for a single camera. As you can expect, all the edges are soft and sometimes it misses few edges. On the whole, for a single camera, it does a decent job. Now coming to the front camera, all these selfies are taken with auto HDR on. They look pretty good. Dynamic range is good, focusing speeds, capturing speeds are all good. It does a pretty good job with exposure control as well. Even in low light indoor conditions, you get pretty good selfies. And in very low light conditions, the dedicated flash helps a lot. On the whole, I was really impressed with the selfies. Just like the rear camera, Vivo offers a portrait mode for the front facing camera. These are the sample shots. For the portrait selfies, it does a better job than the rear camera portrait mode. Edges are slightly inaccurate, but you won't notice them unless you zoom in. 
for a single camera once again it does a pretty good job now coming to low light indoor conditions it does a pretty good job with color reproduction capturing speeds are good and images have decent sharpness but as you can expect once you zoom in you can notice the noise in very low light conditions it takes a second more to sharpen the image colors are close to accurate but you get bright images with reasonably less noise Now coming to video recording this is the sample footage we can shoot video in 1080p at max and there is no electronic image stabilization or optical image stabilization so the footage is very shaky there is a lot of exposure shift so you will see lot of change in brightness despite that colors are good focusing speeds are good if the footage was even a little stable the footage would have been great Now this is the footage from the front camera. Once again we can only shoot in 1080p. There is no stabilization. For some reason, footage isn't as bad as the pictures. Usually phones do this to stabilize the footage, but that's not happening here. On the whole, footage from the front camera looks better than the rear camera in terms of exposure control. Because of the lack of stabilization, I wouldn't prefer this phone for video recording. So guys, to conclude, for the price, while other brands are offering real cameras on the front and back, you only get single cameras it still offers portrait mode it's good on the front and manageable on the back this phone is all about selfies and in that department it does a pretty good job so for anyone who is looking to get a phone with great selfies and a full view display vivo v7 and vivo v7 plus are good choice so guys that's pretty much it for this video if you are planning to buy either of these phones use the link in the description it really helps the channel If you like this video hit that like button and subscribe to our channel to see more cool videos on tech I'm Nikhil from Greedy Tech signing off have a nice day